Hey guys, good morning. Um, I wanted to go over, this is kind of like a random spur of the moment type of uh, video. Um, I didn't really plan for this, I haven't really written anything down, but I think it's something that's important to go over uh, before you even start considering uh, getting into any part of the industry, whether that's uh, truck driving, whether it's hot shots, or RV transport. Um, a lot of people come into this industry, they think it's going to be really good money, uh, they're going to get paid well, and then they don't have the right mindset, and then they end up failing, and then they end up complaining about not making the money uh, because they didn't go about it the right way. And you're probably like, Jen, what do you mean? What What is the right way to go about this? Okay. Um, basically what I mean is this is not a nine to five Monday through Friday job. Okay. This is what you put in is what you're going to get out. Okay. You cannot sit at your desk for eight hours a day and be on Facebook all day and get paid the same amount as you would if you were working nonstop from eight to five. Okay. Does that make sense? I don't even know if this video is going to make sense. But it's what I want to start with. It's the first video I want to put out because if, if you can't get past this, there's no point of you even trying to get into this industry. Okay. It is so important, guys. You are running a business. Whether you are a company driver or whether you are leasing on to a company with RV transport, you are running your own business. Okay, there are so many different elements that go into being successful in the logistics industry. If you don't understand how to budget, okay, if you're not good at budgeting, you're a big spender, don't come into this industry. It's gonna, it's gonna bite you in the butt. If you can't live frugally, it, it, is that even a word? <laughs> is frugally even a thing? Because I just made it a thing if it's not, okay? We're, we're, we're gonna stick with frugally because, <laughs> oh God, I'm not good with English. Just <laughs> I'm a simple girl. We're going with frugally. Frugally. Okay. If you don't know how to live a frugal lifestyle, you're you're not going to you're going to really you're going to suffer. Okay? You you have to budget and you have to stick with that budget. You have to be frugal, okay? You can't get a hotel every night and then complain that you're not making any money. Okay? You've got to sleep in the back of your vehicle whether you're doing driveway or if you're doing tow away. Uh, you need to sleep in the back of your truck, okay? I'm going to allot myself one night a week in a hotel as kind of like a really just stretch out, you know, repack everything, just kind of relax, take a nice long hot bath or shower or whatever, uh, get a good meal, have a couple beers at a bar, whatever, and just I'm gonna allow myself one night a week because I know how to I know how to budget for that, okay? You have to be good at budget. You have to live fr a frugal. I was about to say it again. Frugally. And you have to. <laughs> you have to live a frugal lifestyle while you're out here. Okay. Um, what you put in is what you're going to get out. You have to understand that time. Time, not cents per mile, not how many miles a load is. Okay but your time is what is going to bring you the most profits, okay? When you're driving, you get 11 hours a day, okay? You've got 11 hours to get where you need to go. You better boogie. <laughs> you better drive like you haven't driven before, okay? Um, be safe, obviously, but manage your time according to what you were trying to accomplish. If you are going to be a part-timer and you want to do one one trip a week, that's great, okay? And that's another, that's a really good part about this industry is that it can fit to your level of um, basically what you want it to be. It, it can fit to you 
you can shape it to your life and it doesn't have to be, you know, you shape your life to it. You know what I mean? Uh, so it, it's very versatile. Okay. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's an excellent opportunity. Um, but a lot of people just don't, they, they think that they can come into this industry like it's a nine to five job and think that whether they work hard or they hardly work at all during those nine hours, they're going to get paid the same amount. And that's not how it works, okay? If you don't run, if your wheels aren't turning, you're not earning. That's that's kind of a corny saying that we have that uh, I've, I've heard a couple of people say uh, in the trucking industry. And uh, it's true. It's 100% true. You have to make sure that you know how to use your time and be as efficient as possible, okay? I'm actually going to be making a video about this. Um, talking more about this subject because I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to, you know, have like a little simulated load that we picked out and I'm going to show you how much more you can make based on the amount of time that you save yourself. Okay. So we're going to get into that in a couple weeks, but I figured I would do this one first. So number one, budget. Number two, frugal. Number three, time. Number four, this is a lifestyle change. It is a different world out here living on the road, okay? You can't just get up in the middle of the night butt naked or in your underwear and walk 10 feet to the bathroom to use the restroom, okay? I mean, you could, but you're probably going to get in trouble. <laughs> And we don't want to see that, okay? You have to get up. You have to get dressed. And I'm assuming you're not using a bottle, okay? You guys are lucky. Not all of us are able to do that as easily, okay? But you, you get my point. You get, you get the idea, all right? It is a different lifestyle. If you cannot handle the fact that it can be a very lonely position, it can be a very lonely job. If you are a social butterfly and you need constant human interaction, you are not going to do well unless you bring something, someone with you at all times. Very different. Again, it's a 70 hour plus work week. Okay. 70 hours. You have to work your butt off because it is your business. Nobody is, nobody around you is going to make the money for you. It is all on you. So, uh, you know, I, I know this video is kind of like random off the wall rambling, uh, but I think it's very, very important for you guys to understand that if you don't have these very few key things, if you don't understand that these are requirements for this industry, um, you are really going to struggle your first few months, if not first year. Okay. Most businesses fail in the first two years and that's what you're running with this. You are running your own business. You've got to understand all of the different elements, guys. Okay, there's, you've got to understand budget. You've got to understand being frugal. Okay, saving as much money as you can. Um, you've got to understand that time is everything. Your time is the most important element to your profits. It, nothing compares to it, okay? You can make a dollar a mile, two dollars a mile, okay? But if you don't know how to manage your time, you're not going to make a lot during the week. Your profits are going to be here when you when you could actually make them here. That's pretty much it for this video. Uh, it's just kind of something I was thinking about and I pulled over and uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about it real quick because again, if you can't handle these simple, very, very basic parts of, of being successful in this industry, there's no point of you getting into it. Okay. I'm just trying to save you guys time. Uh, so anyways, I just wanted to share that real quick. I know it's kind of like all over the place. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good youtube -y stuff that you guys are so good at. And uh, I will be making videos. I will probably post every Friday. Uh, and then maybe down the road, I might post twice a week. But for now, my, my first goal is to start posting once a week on Friday, probably afternoonish, early evening, somewhere around there. 
Um, so we will see how that goes, okay? So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys got something out of this. And I hope it, guys, it, it kind of provokes some, some thought. Um, and if again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know and I will be happy to answer them. Uh, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and um, take care.